China has seized more than $14 billion worth of assets from relatives and associates of the former security chief, Zhou Yongkang. This is according to a report by Reuters. 71-year-old Zhou is the most senior Chinese politician to be investigated for graft. The report says authorities have also questioned or detained more than 300 people with links to the politician. Zhou had previously opposed the deposing of another leader, Bo Zhilai. He was sentenced to life in prison last year for corruption. Andrew Leung is a China analyst joining us from Hong Kong to talk about this one. I barely know where to start with this one, Andrew. When you're talking about $14 billion, 300 people arrested or questioned, uh, what was your initial reaction when you heard about this one? Well, this is definitely the party prosecution of the century. I mean, uh, since the founding of the, of the People's Republic of China, uh, because this um, uh, person, in fact, um, as you reported, extremely powerful. He's, he was top of the standing committee of the Politburo. Now, one of the top ten leaders before the new uh, leadership was ushered in. And not only was he in charge of the um, security apparatus in the whole of China, he was also in charge of the judiciary committees, in other words, uh, influencing all the courts. So he was in charge of the, um, um, the armed uh, police, he was in charge of the, all the judges, and also he was uh, related to the oil um, businesses in China. So he was very, very rich and powerful mm -hmm. and extremely corrupt. So there are positives and negatives here that I see if we're talking about wider picture to do with the Chinese government. We'll talk about the negatives, as it were, in a moment. But the positives are that President Xi Jinping is going after corruption. He said he would, and it seems that no one is spared at the moment. Well, um, I think that this, uh, corruption definitely threatens the survival of the whole Communist Party. But this particular case is more than cor corruption. It was reported that he was, in fact, in collusion uh, with the fallen Bo Zilai mm. in a palace plot uh, to unseat um, the current government uh, when um, um, at a suitable point in time in the future. So there was um, this plot was unearthed uh, only relatively recently, and that. Um, uh, revelation really shocked the entire core of the party, and that's why the, all the uh, the party, various other factions or various other um, uh, power brokers, have all uh, come to a consensus mm. that this must be dealt with vigorously. Otherwise, the party will not survive. Seems to me this could backfire, though, because if you've got President Xi Jinping going after corruption and going after these sorts of issues, there might be people within the Communist Party who will then not support him, who don't want things uncovered, who don't want him sort of messing with the family like this. Well, I think that the, the, um, that's why um, it really threatens the, the entire um, a ship uh, of the entire party. Now, whether you um, are, have vested interests, whether you belong to various other factions, if the whole ship sinks, no one can survive. And that's, that's why the whole party leadership was alive to this existential danger. Now, don't forget when uh, Xi Jinping's leadership was first installed, the um, uh, the seminal, seminal uh, work uh, of a very noted um, his Western historian, Alexei Tocqueville, mm. um, his book called uh, French Revolution, mm. was uh, doing the rounds amongst the top leadership, suggesting that really the party woke up uh, to this uh, threat. And, and, and that's war. therefore all the, all the other uh, factions or power brokers have come to a consensus to deal with it. How does this all compare to the Bo Zhilai case? Is this potentially bigger and more destructive? It is much, much bigger, but the two are interrelated. Because I was, I was saying the two were, um, had been um, allies for a long, long time, um, and both were involved in not only corruption, but also power brokering, patronage, uh, selling, even selling offices, and, 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 and of course, um, abusing their, their power um, in various other uh, areas. And so the whole vested interest, um, in fact, this is the, 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 uh, uh, the very top of the iceberg. Mm. So I think the party has got to do with it uh, at a time when the whole country um, has to, got to change its um, uh, model of development, and, 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 and if Xi Jinping's China dream um, mm. has any chance of success, uh, that is the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the be all and end all. It's fascinating stuff. I'm sure we're going to hear lots more about it. Andrew Leung, thank you so much for that.